How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Poolside Cigar Reviews with Kirk. Today I'm looking at a pretty special cigar. This is the Opus X Perfection Number no. 5. And it's special because this is from 2004. So this is a 10-year-old cigar. And this was bombed to me by Matt from Stogie Friends. He's actually the, uh, the creator, owner, operator of Stogie Friends. So if you're not familiar with Stogie Friends, go check it out. It's kind of like Facebook for cigar smokers. They, they've got... Um, you know, the same message board type stuff. There's uh, VHerf capability if you want to get on there and just, uh, uh, you know, smoke with people online. There's It's got a lot of really cool stuff. So a lot of reviews and just a lot of general camaraderie. So definitely check out Stogie Friends. But um, Matt sent me this because we were both on the Calypso Cigar Reviews uh, one-year anniversary show. And he had seen that I would reviewed a couple Opus X's and didn't really... Didn't really think they were that special, and Opus X is one of his favorite cigars, and he asked me the question that I get a lot when I talk about Opus X, uh, in my opinion, that I don't think they're that great, and he said, have you ever had an aged one? And I said no. So he was super cool and sent me this 10-year-old Opus X Perfection Number no. 5. Uh, he was actually going to send me a double Corona, but I said I just don't have the time to smoke big cigars like that. So very cool, he sent me a, a Perfection Number no. 5, which actually I have another one in my humidor, uh, same Vitola. That's only about um, only about a year old, so it'll be nice to compare the two. I don't know when I'll smoke the other one, but so anyway, I'll uh, go ahead and get into it. You know, I'm actually a little bit a uh, little bit nervous to smoke this because it's such a nice gift, and I'm afraid that if I don't think it's that special, it'll be a, a wasted gift. So let's hope it is. Perfect cut. Great draw. Uh, just a little bit of a cinnamon and tobacco. Smells very nice. It's got uh, it's, it's just kind of a soft tobacco smell. I want to use, I'll use a different lighter. I don't want to use my big torch. I'll use my single torch since this is a small, this is a 4 and 7 eighths by 40. So just a little petite Corona, which is actually my, probably my favorite Vitola. Just because I never have the time to smoke a huge cigar. Well, that's got some flavor. Wood off the first light. Getting a tingle on the tongue. Just on the front of the tongue. Mm. Very nice. Yeah, very woody. I'm trying to think. It's it's pretty complex so far off the first light. All right. Well, I do like those first light flavors. So hopefully uh, hopefully this will continue to wow me all the way down. So thanks a lot again to Matt. And uh, I will keep smoking on this Petite Corona and let you know what else I get. See you in a minute. Okay. So I'm about 25 minutes in now. This thing really pumps out the smoke. It does have a good amount of flavor, especially compared to the uh, to the other uh, Opus X's I've smoked. Uh, it's really got a lot of zing on the tongue, but to me the dominant flavors are still just wood and mellow tobacco. Although they are they are ramped up. Um, it is a pretty flavorful little cigar. Uh, it's burning pretty slowly. I'm trying to take my time with it and. Uh, I'm actually pairing that today with a little bit of lime water. Because this is such a special cigar, and I know I caught flack on some of my last Opus X reviews about pairing drinks that had too much flavor. So just a little lime water to cleanse the palate between draws. Very pleasant so far, and I am definitely enjoying it. So uh, 
I will be back with my final thoughts on this uh, perfection number five. See you guys in a minute. Okay. So I'm about 50 minutes in now, just finishing this thing up, really nubbing it out. Um, nice cigar. Didn't really have to touch it up. Burned great, made tons of smoke. The, uh, that spicy flavor really picked up in the second half. It got very, very spicy. A lot of tingle on the tongue. And I think there's some strength in this too, because, um, I always feel when a strong, when a cigar is strong, I feel like I get like a little bit of acid reflux type in my, in my esophagus type feeling. So I think this has some good strength to it, which is a little bit surprising for a 10 year old cigar, but Opus X has a, a reputation for being a powerhouse cigar. And maybe just the smaller ring gauge really gets you more concentrated on the strength from the wrapper. But a very good cigar. I did enjoy it. Um, now, as far as, you know, Opus X has a, a super, super reputation. You know, everybody loves Opus X. People put this on a pedestal. Uh, and the same thing, you know, oh, you got to have an aged Opus. This is a very nice cigar. And uh, I would be totally lying if I said I didn't enjoy it. I really did enjoy this cigar. That being said, for the price tag and, you know, the supposed age requirements on how long you have to hang on to these before they're good to smoke, I still don't know. I, I, I haven't bought into the whole Opus X hype. Um, this, this didn't convert me. Very good cigar. Thank you so much, Matt, for sending this out awesome awesome gift i really appreciate it a lot um so everybody else go check out stogie friends it's a great site um i'm on there from time to time not a whole lot because i'm just i'm kind of busy but um it is a really cool site and there's all kinds of contests always going on and weekly there's some some pretty cool weekly uh, cigar giveaways that you can get involved in where you can put yourself in a and a drawing to, to get five cigars in the next week you need you're the one who provides the five cigars for the next week's winner it's just more of a swap but that's pretty cool uh but yeah check out check out stogie friends at stogiefriends.com and uh yeah so if you can get your hands on uh opus x perfection number five i do recommend it the one that i have inside it's about a year old i think i paid 12 bucks for it i'll be very curious to see the difference between this and the uh, the 2013. So uh, anyway, that pretty much wraps it up. Great cigar. Is it magical? No. There's other uh, there's other petite Coronas that I've liked a lot that were ready to go out of the box and that were less expensive. But I don't want to take away from this. This is nice. I just think um, maybe my pal is just not suited for Dominican tobacco. But did really like this. So thumbs up for me. But thanks a lot for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you get a chance to get your hands on one, I recommend picking one up. And, uh, you know, always leave me a comment. What do you think about Opus X? Have you had this Vitola? If you have, uh, tell me what your experience was. So I'll go ahead and leave you with that. And uh, my suggestion, keep your feet in the pool, a drink in your hand, and a cigar in your mouth. Have a good week, everybody.